What's going on everyone? I know it must be the COVID-19 pandemic and hope everybody must be staying at home. And um, and this day I'm going to be attempting to make some nitric acid. So the things which you need, some hydrochloric acid, around 25 ml. I got some potassium nitrate, uh, 40 grams I weighted, yeah. So, uh, a small bottle over which you can really press over the cork and get that nitrogen dioxide gas out. A bottle. I chose a brown bottle because uh, the decomposition of nitric acid is going to be a photo decomposition one. And so let's do this. So firstly, I'm going to be pouring some hydrochloric acid into this. Let me. So this is the solution of potassium nitrate. But it must be enough. And I'm going to be adding some cardboard pieces, which are over here. And here they go. Oh. These are all the copper pieces over here. So the solution is ready and I'm going to be putting on the cork with the pipe uh, might not be ready. So let's let, let the gas pass through some water. So we got some water in the brown bottle there and I'm going to be there, there's some kind of nitrogen dioxide is going to be passing through that. It's, it's going to be taking a few couple of minutes for that reaction to happen. Hope it started at the bubble and those will start in the nitrogen dioxide. And just when they pass through some water, they're gonna be forming nitro nitric acid. It's just because nitro just when we dissolve nitrogen dioxide in water, it forms nitric acid. In a couple of minutes and the reaction has gotten rapid and the solution has turned dark into dark green color solution. Are you able to see that? Uh, a lot of bubbles are coming out of that. Some brown fumes too. The reaction is on the peak now, and the brown fumes, they're filling out the air, the nitrogen dioxide fumes. The reaction is done, and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be checking this out in the test tubes there. I got this test tube along with some copper pieces, and I'm gonna be pouring some nitric acid into there. So you see, uh, nitric acid can dissolve copper in that, and you uh, will see this, you see those kind of bubbles. The problem is that the uh, nitric acid is very low in concentration, and you have to seal off that before it loses all its nitrogen dioxide by decomposing down in the sunlight. And what about the leftover liquid? And just please don't throw it off. Just try to be storing this in a bottle. Wow, something left over there. I got a few milliliters of that solution in a test tube, and I'm going to be dropping a few bits of uh, magnesium in there, by which we can get three uses of them, and which I'm going to be showing right now. You can generate the nitrogen dioxide back. For which you can save some more nitric acid, can you? I mean, can't you? The second thing is that it creates a lot of temperature. I mean, a lot of heat is released being an exothermic reaction. And you can, if you got 
some, and you're and if you are clever enough, then definitely you can use some nichrome wire to convert this heat energy into some electrical energy. And I'm gonna be making another video over there. And the third one is that the compound is a mixture of copper nitrate and potassium chloride. So it's it's gonna be splitting this both compounds, which you can make some use of that. And but be careful while doing this in home. I mean outside the home or in some kind of fume hood that it may some, sometimes turn into a violent reaction by which it may explode sometimes it may really and hope you like this please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you